Hello and welcome to our second programme in this new... Come to Wolves, we're going to have to go to him and convince him. Dermot tells me that you've offered him your notice. Thinking of moving back to Galway. Is it true? Not that it's any of your business, but yes, it is. It's because I've started to work there, isn't it? Look, I don't want you to give up your job over me. So I've told Dermot that I don't have to work there anymore. I think it's time we both moved on. I realise that now. And if that means giving you more space, then so be it. That's all I have to say. There again this morning. What? That Eunice one. She stayed overnight? No, do you think I'd allow her stay in our family home? No, she was in that bistro place. She doesn't give Clive a minute to himself. Oh, they're just friends. And do you really believe that? Clive will do nothing till I'm gone. And what about after? I hate talking like this, but have you thought about that? Have you thought what might happen to our family home? <sighs> I'll hardly be in a state to do anything about it. Now, will I? So you're going to let our home fall into the hands of, of some stranger? Clive is hardly a stranger. Oh, I'm talking about that Eunice one. What do you want me to do? It's Clive's to do as he wishes after I'm gone. Father would love to hear that. I don't have the energy for this, Regina. That house has been in our family for generations. You're not going to let that Eunice one rob it on us. Damien? Ray? Bit offside last night, weren't you? What? The word was no gargle. Ray, who do you think you are? Alex Bleed and Ferguson? Yeah, well, a good side is a well-disciplined side. It's supposed to be a bit of crack. You know, a bit of a laugh. Now, listen, Ray, you might think it's all right to go around shouting and bawling at everyone, but you're not going to do it to me, all right? What are you saying? What am I saying? I'm saying you need to get yourself a new midfielder, because the last thing I need is you effing and blowing up the sidelines when I'm trying to kick a ball. Yeah, well, if you can't stand there... Uh, whatever, Ray. Eh? Yeah. You weren't that good anyway. All right, there. How would you like to be a new midfield player? I don't know. I mean, I'm more of a stick me in the corner and hoof it up the field kind of player, you know? Not anymore, you know. I'm appointing you a new midfield moisture. I don't know. The responsibility to run him. Ah, she'd be great. I've every faith in you. I gotta go to work. How was your day off? Yeah, it was, but uh, something's come up. I, I thought we were going to lunch before I went to work. I'm sorry. You all right? Yeah, yeah, it's just a case I've been working on. Looks like we've got a breakthrough. Even God rested on the seventh day, you know. Look, this bloke, we've been after him for some time. But you've a home life too. I'm sorry, look, I'll make it up to you, I promise. No, I I'm not getting at you. But I don't want what happened to you and Sorka happening to us. What's Sorka got to do with it? Well, that's why you split up, wasn't it? You on your crusade to clean up the city. Look, we've been working this case a long time. I just want to see it out. Shouldn't have said that, should I? What? About you and Sorka. Why not? It's the truth. <sighs> so, how is she anyway? I don't know. Fine, I suppose. She not been in touch? No, not lately. Is it because of me? Well, that's what you wanted, wasn't it? Well, yeah. But I don't want to be seen as some mad possessive cow. You can still talk to her, you know. Yeah. I suppose I felt a bit vulnerable. You've been all concerned over your ex. Yeah, but there's no need to be. I've got a good idea. What time does your shift finish tonight? Nine. Why don't I pick you up and maybe we can take in a movie or something? Right, so long as there's no cops and robbers. Can't you have a deal? <laughs> Better go. Writing a diary? No, it's just a book, that's all. Fair enough. Are you okay? 
Yeah. Why? After what happened to you yesterday. Oh, that was all just paranoia crap. Drugs, you know. So there wasn't anyone after you then? Maybe there was, maybe there wasn't. I don't know. Do you want to talk about it? There's nothing to talk about, is there? Fair enough. Well, you know where I am. Maliki? Yeah. It doesn't matter. I can't help you, Dylan, if you don't talk to me. There was someone after you yesterday, wasn't there? I saw your face, Dylan. I saw how frightened you were. This has to do with drugs, doesn't it? Look, I have a good contact in the guards. Yeah, and they're going to take me seriously, aren't they? Look at the state of me. I'm sure you could just talk to him off the record. I'm not interested, OK? So what are you going to do? Keep hiding away? Looking over your shoulder? I just want it all to go away, you know? We should never take in the bloody thing. What thing? I have to get out of here. Get out of here, Malachi, out of Dublin. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it. Well, all you had was a point. We disobeyed a direct order. I can't have that behaviour in my squad. So you tell them where to go? Hi, lads. Thought we might grab a bit of lunch and talk tactics for the game, right? We've lost Amo. Oh. We had Ward. Oh, Ray, Ray, I, I told you to leave him alone. Yeah, but he undermined me. The manager can't have that in his team. At the rate we're going, Dad, you won't even have a squad. Right, we really needed him. What, you want me to beg him to come back? <laughs> I don't think so. That's all right. I'll talk to him, right? Yeah, well, don't you apologise for me now, right? I won't, I won't. Just leave it with me, OK? I've, uh, I've asked Emma over later. I thought we could watch a video together. Oh. You two have been seeing a lot of each other lately. She's a good friend. Just a friend? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, I shouldn't be prying. There's nothing to pry into. Well, that's fine. What's up? He has a date. Yeah. Yeah, Emma's coming over, but she's not his girlfriend. She's just a friend. Right. Mm. Billy, you don't have to plumb us. Come on, Damien, the team needs you. You're enjoying it, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I was, on the pitch. It's just when Mota Mout starts up, that's when I start having problems. Yeah, I know. He tends to get carried away, all right. <laughs> if I keep him away from you, will you come back? <sighs> I don't know. Oh, come on, Damien. Does he know you're up here talking to me? <laughs> All right, so he sent you over to do his dirty work? No, 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 no. I volunteered. Right? right? Well, I'll tell you what. I will come back and play. On one condition. Yeah, and what's that? I want to hear it from his mouth that he actually wants me to come back and play. Regina called in earlier. Yeah, she said she was coming. She tells me you're being very hospitable to her. Oh, she's your sister. What are your plans? How do you mean? After I've gone. Oh, please, Kathleen. I'd like to know. You must have thought about it. Oh, not really, no. What about Eunice? What about her? Do you not think she has? Well, she has. She hasn't said it to me. Are you going to marry her, Clive? Oh, don't be so weak all the time. Give me an answer. One thing I will say about Eunice. You ask her a question and she gives you an answer. I don't know the answer. No, Clive. You're just not saying. You're going to marry her. She's going to move into our home. Into our marital bed. Deny it. You can't. OK? 
Can you? Hello, Dylan. Another one bites the dust. Another confrontation. He's threatening to sue over your father's misdiagnosis. Another controversy. She wants me to help her to die. Another day at the clinic. It's me they're suing, and it's the clinic that will suffer. Can't get you anything. You know what I want. The clinic, Sunday at 9.25 on RTE1. That's it, boy. Run, run, run. I've done that. It's good work. Come up to the house after you've changed. I need to talk to you. Hey, there's no way he's going to drop here. You're playing better than ever. Dad's in the kitchen. Would you like a cup of tea? I love him. I suppose you know why I asked you up. I have an idea. Seven years you've been playing senior football now, Connor. I'm not finished yet, Kevin. I know you're not. I'm making you captain. With cheese, please. With cheese, please. Cheese it. Barry to check out five, please. pride. It's a matter of pride. Bruno, I'm trying to eat. Okay. <laughs> ah, you're very bad. You know what, Bruno? It's not looking good. Oh, this is stupid. Hey, buddy, where, where's the whiskers? Plenty of careful, all the same, just different labels. Hey, big guy, we're in business. Almost there, Bruno. Almost. There you go. See? Is that no good like As far as you're concerned, well, you don't concern me. This is purely a business transaction. You get your money on airline tickets, I get the bill back. We go our separate ways. The last thing that I need is your dead body turning up. More questions? Nah. You disappear, I get the no bill back, I'm a happy camper. Otherwise, we just keep on playing cat and mouse. And to be honest with you, Dylan, I can put my energies to better use elsewhere. Well, you assume you don't have the notebook on you? No. Yeah, well, I don't have the money or the tickets either. So here's what I suggest we do. You tell me where you want to meet. I'll give you the money on the airline tickets, you give me the bill back. Deal done, we both walk away. What do you say? You come along. Of course. I'll ring. Fair enough, but don't leave it too long. I've lodgements to make. Yeah. But he didn't deny it, did he? He was always a weak man. Father always said it. He never liked Clive. Because he knew him for what he was. Why do you think Father gave you the house? I was the eldest, and by rights, I should have got it. But he knew how useless Clive was. But at least you'd have a roof over your head. No matter what I think or feel about Clive, one thing I know 
He will never shirk on his duties as a husband. And that he's made quite clear. And you believe him? Yes. Yes, I do. And what about after you're gone? Your bed will still be warm and her slippers will be under it. <laughs> our bed hasn't been warm for some time. That woman is going to take our family home. Is that what you want, Kathleen? There's not a lot I can do from here. Yes, there is. You can change your will and leave the house to me. It's our marital home. Clive has entitlements. Well, then, leave half to me. I'm your flesh and blood. Oh, blood weepies. Where's Kay? In the bar. And Malachi? Dunno. So it's just us then? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I, I, I should have knocked. Uh, I just wondered if you needed anything. No, thanks. We're fine. Are you all right, Emma? Uh, actually, I was just about to go. But you, you've only just got here. Yeah, but I, uh, I've things to do at home. Oh. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I'll call you. Right. <sighs> Sorry. What for? Walking in like that. I told you, we're just friends. I'm glad you rang. Yeah, well, like you said, the last thing we need is Arthur for now, isn't it? Just me. Yeah, I know. I was watching you coming in. Smart and open. Don't make me empty some tea, Warren. All I know. You're out about that. Drink. Oh, no, thanks. Let's just get it over, yeah? Fair enough. Where's me bill? What? Why don't you take it first? Down in the clear. Forget about it. Oh, wow. For God's sake, man. Relax. Look, you know the deal. I can't hand over that kind of money in here. All these people around. Just not done, do you? All it takes is one snitch. Now, I've done everything you boss need to do, haven't I? Well, haven't I? I gave you the time to take it. It's up to you to make the phone call. You're the one pushing this deal, not me. But to expect me to hand over 10 grand in a public space, well, I just can't do it. So you have a little think about that when you get the drink in, yeah? I just wonder if he's more concerned about me leaving the Haven or leaving Carrickstown. Maybe that's why he wants me to keep my job. That way he can keep me close by him. Sounds completely paranoid, doesn't it? Yeah, a little. But there again, Barry hasn't been the most rational lately. Well, maybe I should just go back to Galway. But you're enjoying your job. And you'd be close to Jenny and, and me. Yeah, I suppose. I don't sound so sure. It's just such a mess. Come here. Just say Barry is making the effort. It'd be an awful shame for you to give up your job, especially now. Well, I'll think about it while I'm up there. Up where? I have to go to Sligo for a few days. Aunt Kate isn't well, and she's summoning the clan. Oh, sounds bad. Uh, she, she liked live us all. Yeah, she's a feisty old lady, all right. <laughs> well, she always had a soft spot for you. <laughs> yeah. The last time I saw her, um, she went yards to me because we split up. Yeah, me too. Anyway, give her my regards. Of course. When would you be going? The weekend. I'll miss you. Me too. Oh, Dan. What? It's Tracy. What time is it? Uh, it's just gone now. I was supposed to pick her up after a shift. Well, you better get going then. Yeah, hello? Yeah, I'm just on my way, love. So, are we going to do this or what? Oh, by the way. A little bonus. Show us no hard feeling. That is our powers if the deal is still on.
Just me. See? No one there. I told you, I want to move on. The last thing we need is air to bring down on X, right? Yeah. So I show you mine, you show me yours. Tickets, ten grand, just like you asked for. Don't spend it all in one shot. Yeah. And if you're getting something. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. It's gonna be a lot of sleepless nights, this. Still, what's done is done, right? Smoke? Sure. The relief, what? Yeah. You didn't think we were going to do, you, did you? I thought it crossed my mind, all right. Nah, not that tight, Dylan. Too messy. I mean, I might have broke your legs or something. I'm joking. No offence. Well, you smackheads can be pretty paranoid, can't you? Yeah, well, goes the territory, doesn't it? Nearly forgot. Your little bones. Grade A1 gear, this. Straight off the boat. Not even mixed yet. Of course, if you don't want it. My way of saying no hard feelings. Shoot up now if you want. Won't last long in that shelter of yours. Them other heads will sniff her out the minute you walk in the building. Go on, boy tape sketch. Well, you certainly have your own stick. Yeah, yeah, you got a rifle. After this, we don't want to see Sui and our sound of you ever again. Do you understand me, Dylan? Yeah, 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 of course. Man. Damien is the man for the job, and we need him back. See, Reg, sometimes a manager's got to do what a manager's got to do. And that's sacrifice himself for the good of the team. Barry. Fine, please, Malachi. Sure. Hey, Barry. Fine, Derek. All alone there, Tracy? I'm just waiting on Miles. Working late, is he? You know Miles? Yeah, real pillar. Dedicated to law and order. Ah, here's the Cape Crusader now. Look, I'm sorry I'm late. Mm. So, did you get your man? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, what can you do? Must be awfully disappointing. It's all part of the job. Out there working till, what, after nine? Still, it's great to see such dedication. Uh, criminals don't exactly work nine to five either. No. I don't suppose they do, Detective Sergeant. You're paying, Barry. Oh, thanks, Malachi. Cheers. All right, hey, Damo. Yeah? A uh, point? I didn't think he approved. Hey, listen, maybe the old passion for the game took over last night and I got a bit carried away. A bit? Yeah. Uh, well, the uh, thing is, uh, I was wondering, uh, you know, would you come back? Oh. So, you're apologising to me, eh? Well, yeah, in a way, I, I suppose I am. <laughs> well, I mean, you're there, you yeah, aren't, right? Yeah, I, I, I apologise, though. So, so you coming back or not? No. So, what would you have to go and see? Well, it's a bit late for a movie now. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Work is work. Well, would you like to go out for something to eat? No, not really. But I could do it getting out of here, though. Yeah, of course. Come on. Oh, forever the gentleman. Night, Barry. Yeah, good night. Not like you Apology accepted. I see you train. Good boy. See that? The big smear coming. <laughs> yeah, but at least we have him back, right? I don't know whether I want him back now or not. Uh... I mean, this management game is tougher than you think, you know. Do you want to point? Yeah, go ahead. Well done, Dad. Now all you have to do is tell Ken. Fuck now. 100% proof, my friend. Boning in your veins now, is it? 
Your head feel like it's going to explode. Look at me. Look at me. Did you think I was going to let a piece of filth like you do me out of ten grand? You honestly did believe it, didn't you? <laughs> the drugs have fried the brain, Dylan. Should have made a copy. Bit of insurance. That was your big mistake, pal. I did. You're lying. You're lying! Who has it? Who has it? It's time to make him trust. I'll never give it to you. No! No! Wake up! Damn! Wake up! No! 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 Leah! Leah, I said leave it, okay? Leave it! Did you honestly think she was going to provide for you and your fancy woman? Oh! You did, didn't you? Who the hell did you think you were talking to me like that? Get your hands off me! You're just a slut! Did I tell you to watch your house? Watch me house? That's a bleeding mantra, Yeah, isn't we didn't pass in, didn't you? You gave me a free pass. Why he shouldn't have been my man. He was Robbo's man. Right, come on, come on, lads. Get it out there. Come on, Kelly. We can pull this one back. Has anybody fed Derek? The Midweek Movie, starring Will Smith and Gene Hackman. You live another day, I'll be very impressed. Enemy of the State, tonight at 9.30 on RTE1.